Hey guys, welcome. AI is taking over the whole planet. Seriously, wherever I go, it's in every headline, it's everywhere. And this is mainly because of ChatGPT. And if you somehow don't know what ChatGPT is, it's basically an AI chatbot that you can have full-blown conversations with. And this goes far beyond what a search engine like Google can do for you. You can challenge it and have a back and forth conversation like you can with a real person. It can write your essay for you. It can give you cooking recipes, but oh, you're halfway through and you realize you're out of sugar, it can help you. I literally copied and pasted this entire video script into ChatGPT and asked it if this script was good for a wide audience on YouTube. And apparently it is. It's insane how good this thing is. But the thing that got me really excited about this is the fact that it can generate code, even C-sharp code, which I use to create video games. I wanted to test this thing. I wanted to push it to its limit. So I decided to create an entire video game using only ChatGPT generated code. The results completely blew my mind. So no no more waiting, let's get right to it. To start, we need to set some rules. I want this entire video game to be the product of AI. So that means all code has to be generated by ChatGPT, none by me. But I do want a game at the end of this video, so if I have to step in, I will allow myself to be able to do that. All game ideas have to be generated and chosen by ChatGPT. All game loops, all mechanics, even what the game should look like, it's all going to be described to me from ChatGPT. So that also means that all of the art in this project is gonna be generated by AI as well. And I will be using Dolly because that's the one I'm the most familiar with. And if you don't know what Dolly is, stick around, you'll see. And finally, I'm setting a three hour time limit. This is really just so that I keep the project scoped small enough to fit into a YouTube video. Plus I have other projects that I'm working on. So let's do this. I hopped right into ChatGPT and asked it for several video game ideas. It gave me a pretty decent variety and I really, really wanted to select it myself because I was hoping for number three, but I have to follow the rules. So I bit the bullet and asked it to select one at random, and it actually picked the one that I wanted, which is awesome. Now it was throwing out a whole lot of ideas out there for this game, and it no longer sounded like it was going to be possible to do this in a three hour time limit. So I asked ChatGPT to revise the idea so that it could be done within a couple of hours. And it did an amazing job of simplifying the game idea. So this right here, this is our game idea. Top down game, player shoots waves of enemies using a projectile, single screen level, move using the WASD keys, space bar to shoot, enemies move left and right and shoot towards the player. The player can collect health pickups and your score increases when you kill enemies. Easy peasy. Now I pretended I was a complete beginner. So I asked for more specific directions about how to get started making this game, including what scripts I would need, or code files basically. And it gave me really detailed directions that were very helpful. So now I just got to follow this. So next we needed to get a player character in there. So I asked ChatGPT to generate a description of what it thought the player should look like. And then I went to Dolly to see what we'd be working with. I chose the one that I thought would be the most usable. I used Canva to remove the background and I imported it into Unity. Now here's where I was really impressed. I asked it to create the player controller script that it already mentioned above, but asked that it make one revision, which was to to shoot with the mouse click instead of with the spacebar. And here it is, clean, well-documented code. Just about every single line of code has detailed descriptions of what that line of code does. Now, after reviewing it, I didn't really like how it was moving the character. I wanted to use the built-in physics system. That's just gonna make collisions and projectiles and all of that stuff a lot easier to implement. It was also updating the score in the game with Unity's built-in text system, which is actually the really old way of doing things. I wanted it to use TextMesh Pro instead. So I asked for the these revisions and it looked perfect. I mean, I was stunned. Can I just say how incredible this is? Scary? Yes. Amazing? Yes. Next, I added all of the components that the player needed in Unity, including a rigid body, which you need for the physics system. And I asked ChatGPT what settings it would use on the rigid body. And it gave me pretty similar settings to what I would use. So I went ahead and used all of its recommendations. There was one more change that I forgot to ask for, and that was a health bar. In the current setup, it was just displaying the player's health using text, which I really didn't like. And it revised the code, but it gave me a health bar script using a slider, which it, it works. I know it does because I've done it, but I just have a much easier time using an image instead of a slider. So I asked it to make that revision 
and it worked fine. Now, at this point, I remembered that this was a top-down game and the art that I had chosen for the player just wasn't really gonna work for that. So I went back to Dolly and I downloaded whatever this is. It works, it'll be fine. I also wanted a gun that was separate from the player. So I searched for a top-down rifle and didn't really like any of those. So I asked for a really simple looking top-down rifle that has silver and blue elements that look slightly robotic and downloaded this monstrosity. And finally, it's time to actually test it. That's definitely not right. For some reason, it was updating the weapon's position every single frame, and it was trying to spawn in a copy of the gun whenever I pressed the fire button. So I explained to ChatGPT that I made the gun a child of the player, so updating the position was not necessary. And I also told it that I needed it to spawn in a bullet when I pressed the fire button, not another copy of the gun. And this seemed to work just fine. So now we needed a script that we could attach to the bullet so that we could actually handle damaging the enemies. Now, this part was really cool. I spotted what I thought might be a potential problem in the code. The code that ChatGPT gave me was applying force to the bullet as soon as it spawned into the world, but it was also controlling the movement of the bullet in the bullet script. And at a glance, I thought that there might be a conflict between the two. I explained this to ChatGPT and asked if it was going to be a problem, and it gave me a phenomenal explanation and answer as to why this was not going to be a problem. At that moment, I felt like I had just gotten schooled by a coworker or something. I was really, really impressed. Now, art, back to Dolly. I wanted a simple looking bullet facing right 2D and flat with blue and silver elements. I hated all of these, so I revised my search and I chose this one. I couldn't seem to get one without any artifacts everywhere, but they were easy enough to erase. Now it was time for some enemies. I wanted to do the code first, so I asked ChatGPT to give me the enemy controller script that I would attach to the enemy. It basically gave me just an enemy health script with an additional method to actually damage the player whenever the enemy touched the player. Now earlier, ChatGPT had mentioned that the enemies should move in a line left and right, so I asked it to add that in. Now, if you don't know, ChatGPT seems to have some sort of character limit where it'll just be typing out its answer, but then it will just kind of suddenly freeze and you'll have to type continue in order to get the rest of your answer that you need. And here's, here's where everything went downhill for a little while. And I can definitely confirm that ChatGPT has some glitches that need to be ironed out. So it gave me half the script, I typed continue, and then it gave me the same script again, just from the very beginning. And then it stopped at the exact same place again typed continue again, and it did give me the rest of what I needed. Now, I was ready to test this out, except things weren't working quite like I wanted. I wanted the player to aim and shoot towards the mouse cursor. So again, I asked for another script revision. It gave me half a script, I typed continue, and it started over from the beginning again. Now, it did give me the whole script, except for some reason, this time, it dropped the text functionality and the health bar functionality. Those were just gone, like they never existed in the first place. I pointed this out to ChatGPT and asked it to add those back in, and it gave me a health bar with a slider again. So I went back and forth a couple of times, but honestly, I had all of the code that I actually needed, so I was getting frustrated at this point, and I just pieced it all together from earlier parts of the conversation myself. Once we put it all together, we got this. But I mean, to be fair, the player is technically rotating towards the mouse, just not in a good way or the right way. Now, this time I wanted to try something else. I wanted to know what would happen if I told ChatGPT exactly what it was doing wrong and how to fix the problem and to just give me a revision from that. The new code it gave me was perfect. It did exactly what I was asking for. I was giddy at this point, honestly, until I saw that it only spit out half a script and I typed continue. Hello darkness, my old friend. And it started over from the beginning again. And I was like, hey, ChatGPT, could you please just give me some code without bugging out? For five minutes! Seriously, I logged out, I logged back in, I restarted my computer, I tried everything to get these glitches to stop, but in the end, I had to create a second account. And between my two accounts, I was able to continue and finish the project. Anyways, after all of this, I realized to my own horror that I'd broken my own rule. I had tampered with the AI's game idea. Even though we had just gotten this problem working, what it wanted was enemies that patrolled left and right, the player shoots with the space bar, and there was no mention of the player rotating. And I realized it was basically 
basically walking me through a super simple version of Space Invaders. And I had ruined this vision by adding in mouse controls. So I adjusted everything back to the movement code that it gave me very close to the start of the project. No more rotating, we're just moving up, down, left, right, and we're shooting with the space bar. And there we have it. We finally have a working player controller shooting projectiles in the proper direction. And now we just need some enemy art. I went back to Dolly and apparently we're going with a pixel art enemy. I brought him into Unity, I attached the enemy controller script to him, and we have an enemy that patrols left and right. Now its patrol range from left to right were just arbitrary numbers to me, so I asked it if it could help me to visualize the patrol distance in the inspector. It spit out a nice little chunk of code that I added to the script, and now we were able to visualize the patrol range. You'll also notice that sometimes the enemy bugs the hell out. We'll come back to that. Next, the enemies need to shoot the player, or this is going to be way too easy. I asked ChatGPT for another script, and it spit out something that looked perfect again. But I wanted there to be several different enemy types in the game, so I thought it could be interesting to add two different enemy shoot behaviors. One that just shoots down in a straight line, and one that shoots directly towards the player. So I asked it to add in that functionality, but for fun, I also asked it specifically to do it using an enum, because I was just curious to see if it would do it the same way that I would do it. It spit out what looked like really good code, but I needed a projectile to properly test this out. Time for more art, so I went back to Dolly to look for more projectiles, and I liked this one. Now we needed code for that projectile. ChatGPT gave me a script, and I attached it to the projectile, and so close. I asked it to fix this, and for some reason, the revision it gave me just made the problem way worse, and it started changing the enemy's rotation instead of the bullet for some reason. I told ChatGPT what had happened, and it gave me a revision that was so, so close. But actually, the problem here was not with the code, it had to do with the rotation of the actual sprite in Unity. So I played around with the original sprite, and eventually got everything working with no code changes required. I noticed now that the player actually wasn't taking any damage when they were hit by an enemy. So I asked for that functionality to be added in, as well as for the projectiles to destroy themselves after a couple of seconds so that they don't stay in the scene forever hogging memory. No problems there. Next on the list is a health pickup. So I needed the health pickup to spawn where the enemy died, move downward constantly, and be destroyed if it went outside the level boundary, and obviously heal the player whenever it touches the player. I grabbed some super simple art for this one from Dolly and brought that into the project, and the code for the health pickup that it gave me was good. The only thing that we still needed to do was add in the code to spawn in the health pickup in the enemy controller script. So instead of asking for a script revision, this time I asked how I would go about adding that into the project. I liked what it gave me this time. It gave me very, very detailed instructions with code along the way and told me exactly where to put the code. It was really cool. This still isn't enough though, because health pickups can't just drop every single time you kill an enemy. They have to be a little bit rare or the game's too easy. So I asked it to modify this script so that there was a percentage chance of the health pickup dropping when you killed an enemy. And it spit out a really simple but completely fine solution for this problem. Next, we needed to code how and when the waves of enemies would spawn into the game. So what I wanted was to have a list of possible enemies that could spawn into the game, each with their own percentage chance of actually spawning in each wave, and then spawn those randomly somewhere inside of a box in the level. And to test this, I set up three enemy types. Two that shot straight down with different damage and speed values, and one that shot towards the player but was bigger and slower and spawned in less frequently. This worked amazingly well. It did everything that I asked. Next, I asked it to revise the script so that enemies couldn't spawn on top of each other. And again, I think the solution that it came up with was really, really clever for this problem. And it worked perfectly on the first try. And now it was just time for some polish and finishing touches. For example, I thought it would be nice to add in the ability to see when the next wave is going to spawn in and to be able to see what wave number you're on. So I asked ChatGPT to handle the code for setting up that stuff and and that was no problem. Next, I asked, what should the background art look like for this game? I typed in that description over in Dolly, and I grabbed the one that I liked the most. I had to zoom it in quite a bit in order to get it to fit on the screen, but it works. Just a little quality of life update. I asked it to revise the code so that you could hold down the space bar to fire instead of having to press it every single time. We added in a game over screen when the player died, and the scene will restart after a couple of seconds. There's no animations here. This is all code generated by ChatGPT. And finally, 
I asked it to generate an audio manager so that I could very easily play sound effects. I told it that I wanted to be able to call this function from anywhere. So ChatGPT made it a singleton class, which I am a really big fan of. I love singletons. And finally, I asked for a recommendation for where I could get some good free sound effects. I went to chip tone, grabbed a couple, and threw them into the game. Some of the sound effects were a little bit annoying. So I went back to ChatGPT again and asked it to revise the script so that it would randomly change the pitch and the volume just a little bit every single time it played a sound effect to give it a little bit more variety. And there you have it, a full video game made in a day with all code generated by ChatGPT and all art generated by Dolly. Oh, and remember that movement glitch from earlier that I mentioned? I was really, really close to giving up on getting ChatGPT to fix this. We went back and forth eight to 10 times before, at least as far as I can tell, the issue was finally fixed. After all the glitches from earlier, my patience was running a little bit thin, but we got it in the end. If you wanna play the game for yourself, I've included a link in the description below. I'm really excited by ChatGPT. I actually use it almost on a daily basis now, and I use it as a tool to help me learn new things, or I use it as a tool to bounce ideas off of. ChatGPT's answers are not always 100% accurate or up to date, and there are definitely some problems and glitches with it, but but honestly, with the next version of ChatGPT coming out sometime in 2023, apparently, and the fact that it's going to have 500 times more parameters than the current version of ChatGPT, I'm both a little bit excited and a little bit nervous to see what the future holds for this kind of technology. I want to know what are your thoughts on ChatGPT and AI-generated art? There's a lot of controversy over this. There's a lot of debate over this. But I know that you guys are going to keep it civil down in the comments below because you guys are all awesome. Also, let's just see what ChatGPT has to say in response to my heartfelt thanks. Oh.